everyone, we're here at the Equip Expo 2022, and I'm here with Nicole. Two guests. Yes. <laughs> and what is your role at Makita? I'm the product manager for Makita's outdoor power equipment. Okay, well, great. So that's what we're going to look at right now. What's new for this year? We're going to first start out with the new backpack lower. Yeah, so the new backpack blower is the product that I'm actually the most excited about to be showing here today. So this backpack blower that we have on the trailer here, it is actually a 64cc power equivalent backpack blower. So a lot of applications in the market where previously a backpack blower wasn't possible, this is going to be available today. So we're rating for it for up to 140 minutes of runtime. But actually, I've got a crew in California testing this right now. Cordless crew really used to using battery. They're working in an HOA complex where no gas is allowed. So they were actually getting up to four hours of runtime. Really good at feathering the trigger and something that they especially liked is we actually have a cruise control lever set on this right here so a lot of gas crews they're used to kind of like pushing constantly makes your finger tired so having this feature is going to be a really nice benefit as well okay so this is part of the connect system yes and can you explain how that works so this backpack battery right here it's actually part of the connect system so this same battery that you see on this backpack blower i can actually take it off the backpack blower mount it onto the mower as well so the idea again behind the connect system is we're trying to give the user all day runtime. So having this battery option, it's really great for those aggressive applications. We actually have a good showcase of this over here. So again, that same battery, you could use it on the mower right here. You can use it on a handheld blower because the battery will actually connect to a harness. So then traveling kind of over on this side of the trailer, you can see what that harness will look like. And with the harness, again, you can use it as a backpack system, but we'll also have this dummy battery so you can plug it into our existing slide style battery products. So it's gonna give you a lot of more of additional compatibility. Are there any new mowers? Yes. So the new mower that I'm really excited about is actually our new 40 volt mower. So if you check out the mower I'm sorry, what was it called? It's our new 40 volt mowers. The mower is the GML01 mower, but checking out right in here, you can see we have two 40 volt, eight amp hour batteries. So this is actually gonna be running off of a single battery and then it'll automatically switch to the next battery, which is gonna double your runtime right there. Okay. And then what's unique about this mower is there's actually no side discharge, which you've seen on some of the previous Makita mowers. It's gonna be a rear discharge, but just in general, this mower has an incredible vacuum lift that really holds the grass up nice and tight and then gives you really good cuts. So it's gonna be a chute that directs it out the back and to the side. Yeah, so the rear discharge chute, essentially it has a lip right here. So if you want to go ahead and then rear discharge, then it'll go ahead and then discharge out the back thanks to this lip keeping it open. Okay. How about this mower right here? So this mower is actually part of the connect system that we were seeing over there. So it's a similar thing where you can go ahead and take off that battery and then mount it onto the mower. This mower features side discharge, so it's three in one. You can go ahead, bag, mulch, side discharge. There's ball bearings in the wheels, which gives it like that extra maneuverability for rugged, rough terrain. And then there's a folding hand, or there's a liftable handle right on here as well. So it's gonna be easy for guys to take it on and off the truck. We didn't do folding handles on these ones because we wanted to go ahead and then lock them into place because it's meant to be like really durable commercial grade so that it's going to go ahead and then withstand being loaded on and off trucks all day long. Okay. So these are both self-propelled? Yes. So self-propelled mower right here. You can see it's a cruise control lever, so it's easy to go ahead and then set what your speed is. With our new 40 volt mower, we actually did include the folding handles on it. So you can go ahead and then just switch these right here. The handle will fold on over and then it can stand upright for upright storage. So this would probably be a little bit more for the homeowner might buy this one because of the battery system where the other one's going to be more commercial. You know, typically. there's still going to be actually a lot of commercial crews that are going to be able to take advantage of this one just because they're going to like that high vacuum lift. And like, I can still see this mower working great for a lot of commercial crews just because of that power and runtime that's going to be available. And again, that convenience factor for also being on the 40 volt platform. Has anything changed with the dump cart? I've seen that around um, yeah, for so like this four or five years a now. New one that we're showing. So the previous versions that you would have seen, those were going to actually be a three wheel version. So now we have a four wheel version, which is going to be useful for going up hills. And then you can see that this is going to be. Yeah, this was an old. Uh the hydraulic dump right here, whereas previously the wheelbarrows that you would have seen with Makita, that didn't actually have a dump feature. Oh. I'm not gonna go too far yeah, because I'm yeah, gonna knock wanna, everything yeah. on the floor here. So that's those are the hydraulic, the system for that. Wow, that's cool. 
And then this is gonna be available not in just the wheelbarrow with the dump. We'll also have a pipe frame and then a big rectangular barrel with a drain in it as well. Hmm. Any idea what this is gonna run? Uh, you know, it's definitely a piece of equipment. We don't have retail pricing on it just yet, but you're gonna see it as a next step up from the previous models that we have out there on the market. Okay, and does this run off of one battery or two? This is gonna be running off of two batteries. So it is gonna be one of our 36 volt products. It's two 18 volt batteries. Okay, so now we're in a different section of your booth. Yeah, so what we're showing with this back wall here is we're showing actually all of our connects and our 40 volt products. The reason that we're showing connects and 40 volt today is we're trying to show the landscaper that full truck conversion perfect solution. A marriage between connects and 40 volts is gonna give a landscaper that all day runtime and that additional power that they need. Whereas previously, there wasn't gonna be a 40 cc brush cutter option available or a 14 inch power cut that you see down here. So this is gonna allow us to take a truck completely cordless and not just have a majority of the core products, but also the niche products as well. So on this back wall, we've got everything from string trimmers, and I'm talking 25cc wow. power equivalent, 30cc power equivalent, 40cc power equivalent, blade capable, uh, bike handles. We have a lot of different options in string trimmers because we're not a one size fits all. We're very big on the innovation and having a lot of those niche products and all battery. And then pivoting over here, you can see the connects piece over here. We've got our backpack blower. We've even got a handheld blower because you can connect with that dummy style battery to the backpack system. Pivoting beyond that, hedge trimmers and Hedge trimmers I actually love to talk about. It's one of my favorite things because now hedge trimmers are 100% beef gas. This hedge trimmer right here is actually 16, six hours of runtime, 13% more torque than gas, and lighter weight than gas. So now that you're beating gas on runtime, power, speed, torque, there's absolutely no reason to use gas. So I start with landscapers, and a lot of times I'll tell them, like, hey, if you're thinking about going cordless, I know that hedge trimmers are usually like that add on afterthought of a product. Start with a hedge trimmer because you'll absolutely be a believer in cordless. You know, I always thought that it took a lot of power to run a hedge trimmer, but it seems like they can run a long oh. time on a battery. Hedge trimmers are one of the best products when it comes to like battery and runtime. They're very efficient. Like, extremely efficient. Like whenever people try this out, they immediately say, I'm not going back to gas because there's absolutely no reason to be using gas on hedge trimmers yeah. anymore. And then you don't have like the fumes and stuff that are in the heat, the yes. exhaust going down on and your... No pull starts. I don't know yeah. how many of us like have to deal with the pull start, but also the diagnostics with cordless is easier. It's a lot easier to diagnose, hey, if there's some maintenance that need to be done on this, it's probably a controller card. You can have a battery checker, but when it comes to gas, it's, is it the fuel line, the carburetor, the air filter? There's so many pieces to take apart. So your tool is going to be diagnosed much faster and come back to you faster if you have a cordless. And then this is all completely serviceable equipment. So we have a three-year warranty on it because we know this is a piece of commercial equipment that's meant to last. I'm noticing that these all have the rotating handles, which is nice right here where you can... It looks like it pivots on yeah, that. Yeah, so. rotating rear handle because yeah. it'll make angle trimming a little easier. Yeah. And then I'm excited about these single-sided hedge trimmers too because you don't really see these at all. I haven't seen them on the market in cordless. They're very much still a gas product, but we have a lot of popularity, especially in Florida, with these single-sided hedge trimmers. Yeah, definitely. I've run a gas version of this, and I was surprised how easy it cleans everything up. It just yes. takes all those clippings. That and it, directional scooping yeah. mechanism is nice because you can go ahead and keep your clippings in one spot. It makes it mm -hmm. for easier cleanup. Yep. And then, of course, my favorite thing to yeah. talk about oh. are the chainsaws here. So we have a couple different types of saws on 40 volts available. The first ones are these top handles up here. So the top handle saws are a 30cc power equivalent coming in either a 12 inch, 14 inch, or 16 inch bar. And then down here are rear handle saws. The rear handle saws are a 42cc power equivalent coming in up to an 18 inch bar. And then we have two options and then bar nut options available as well and of course the bar nuts on all of our saws are going to be captured so any maintenance you're doing changing out the bar you're not going to be losing the nuts in the grass or anything we're just very focused on the convenience features speaking of convenience features you're gonna have an adjustable oiler on each one of our saws so depending on like your consumable preferences if you want to have more oil for your bar and chain or you're trying to kind of save bar oil you can adjust that as well yeah I definitely have lost some of the bar nuts in the forest before and you're digging through all the leaves and the twigs and it just slows you down, so it's nice having that oh, the captured absolutely. ones. Yep. <laughs> so you want to see this one cut? Oh, also, yeah. yeah let's, let's get <laughs> let this guy cut. Yeah. All right. 
Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. your time. Enjoy the show. Yeah, right. absolutely. And then also our couple shaft system is a nice solution as well. So we have 14 different attachments on this couple shaft system. Everything from an edger, articulating full hedge trimmer, uh, really some unique options that you kind of see in the market too, or like the paddle sweep and the brisher, bristle brush attachment as well. But it's really convenient. We've got a lot of homeowners that kind of have limited garage space, so they like to use the couple shaft attachment. And even professional landscapers that just kind of want to have that versatility, like a professional use for the bristle brush is actually AstroTurf fluffing to be able to go ahead and lay the turf and then get the grass to lay up. We have so many users that are using this bristle brush for AstroTurf. Oh, that's interesting. And pivoting on, yeah. one of the big things that Makita is actually just known for, everybody knows us for our drills and impacts, so of course that 40 volt platform, you're going to be able to use it on all of our tools. And something that's unique that we've kind of come out with recently is our dust blower. Oh, that's so cool. Have different attachment heads so you can use it for compressed air i personally use it to clean the chainsaws every time we're doing demos but that yeah. compressed air is just a really nice feature huh. but that's a kind of that makita difference is we're not just in the outdoor power equipment space you have a lot of different options on that battery platform so right now in 40 volt we have over 100 tools that that battery can be used on oh, nice. you don't have the cooler here this... no we didn't bring the cooler here <laughs> so that actually people talk about how it cools but it actually heats too right yes it does have those two different options hmm. on it <laughs> So this down here is actually our demolition hammer. So it's coming with one of the uh, clay spade bits essentially. So you see this a lot in like the hardscape and irrigation industry where if they're digging trenches, they'll use this spade bit to be able to dig out the trenches. So where previously this has always been a corded solution, if you were limited on what you can do with the cord, now there's a battery option as well. Okay. We have a lot of clay where I'm at and I've actually had to put a gas line in the winter time and we had to rent something that did this type of work right here just to get through it so we could finish the gas line so yeah that's cool so in the same vein of digging where we have the demolition hammer and you can use that for trenching we also have the earth auger so show them with the earth auger or the accessories down here it's either the four inch the six inch or the eight inch bit but that's going to be nice for especially like planting post hole digging to be able to get you different options there and it's got the extension too so if you wanted to dig down a little deeper you could add on the extension okay along with the two the six and the eight but it's a one-man earth auger and it's able to to get through some pretty hard applications. I'm personally testing in California, really dry, rocky, hard clay, and then it's able to dig right through it. Okay, and was this introduced last year? I think I. Yes, this we've had here. this one out for a little over a year. Okay, so there, we have something new here with the rotation of the trimmers. Yeah, so these trimmers are actually a 35cc power equivalent, and what's nice about these is the rotation, you can actually, with the push of a button, either change it clockwise or counterclockwise. So we're really targeting like the weed abatement industry. Think guys that are trimming along the highway. If you can't throw the debris directionally one way because cars are coming, now you can go ahead and then just change the directional rotation. That's a nice safety feature. So how do you switch the rotation? Is it this? Just the push of a button. Oh, and push of a button, okay. Another feature on this one is we also have high torque mode available as well. Okay. All right, so that wraps it up here at the Makita booth at the Equip Expo 2022. Nicole, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll see what I can find out for you. And until next time, have a great day.